There are many different mysteries that have entranced God of War fans for years, but the latest one has to be who blew the horn in God of War 2018 while Atreus was sick. This scene here specifically does not have an answer. Somebody just called the serpent. YouTube theorists have spent years trying to figure out what exactly has happened there, mostly because Cory Barlog refuses to say what it was. In practicality, if we look at the story, what likely happened was Boulder blew the horn to try to get some info from Jormungandr to see where Kratos and Atreus was. This would provide impetus for why the World Serpent is fighting them all at the end of the game. It makes sense, and Cory has alluded to that early on. But since everyone is questioning what really happened, this leaves a great opportunity for some further storytelling. We thought we might see that story being told in God of War Ragnarok, and we didn't. Who blew the horn? Gotta ask the other guy. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, really? sick of it. I'm sick of that guy. I'm <laughs> sick of that. <laughs> so it must have been Balder, right? It was Balder? I mean, I know, but I'm Who is it? Tell us. Why not? It's over, yeah. right? You're done. You said two games and you're done. <laughs> Gotta ask the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Although some people do have the theory that the horn sound being blown wasn't actually used to summon the World Serpent, but it was Kratos in God of War Ragnarok blowing Galahorn right before Ragnarok. Corey has explained that that is unfortunately incorrect, and he and the game director have said that they will answer this eventually. All of this to say, I think there is a lot of evidence within God of War Ragnarok that hints at exactly what this is. I believe that this story is not done with the Norse worlds and the mythologies, and that specific moment will be explained in an upcoming DLC or subsequent game. There is so much evidence to support this idea, whether it is Thrude finding Mjolnir and becoming possibly the new god of war, what is happening in Helheim with the big bird retiring and possibly, you know, introducing Hel, the giant offspring from Loki and Angraboda, and of course the stories of both Loki and Angraboda and the newly found Tyr in the endgame. There are two scenes specifically though that make me believe that our next story will be a time-traveling tale with Atreus, maybe a little bit older, possibly Kratos there as well, and Tyr. Two things in particular. So the first one is after you beat the game and go back to your home. The second is when you really meet Tyr in his prison, and this is what he has to say. Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are. His name is Kratos. Kratos? I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know you from somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to me. Until then. What is it? Mementos. From Atreus's journey. What will you do with it? Add it to our own. His story is ours, and ours is his. Too right, brother. Starting with the relics that Atreus leaves, I don't believe they would tell a story like this that has this continuing feel unless there was some intention, as Kratos says there, to merge these stories together. Also, did you notice that Tyr seemed to recognize Kratos in that moment? There's a lot of reasons why that could be. You know, anyone who's related to the giants has some prophetic powers, but what if he is seeing the future that already happened? 
what if the next DLC, which I know has been said there won't be or we won't continue in that story, I don't buy it. But what if that horn being blown was actually a necessity done by either Atreus or Tyr as they were jettisoned back in time to try to right a wrong? What if another story that wasn't completed, the story of Sindri, who has lost really all of his humanity after the choices he made and Atreus and Kratos made led to the death of Brock and and essentially ensuring he's not going to have an afterlife. What if he does whatever he can to right that wrong, including using his unbelievable power and access in the Nine Realms to travel back in time? We've already seen how the franchise in the past has dealt with time travel, and we've seen how the franchise in the present deals with time travel, specifically with the World Serpent in the previous two games. There's a lot of suspension of disbelief there. You have to assume that the Serpent is doing things that would assure there's not a paradox. Talking to the game writer, that has been confirmed. I just don't believe that based on everything we've seen here, so many stories left untold, so many moments that haven't been finished that were done with the Norse realms and that the storytellers aren't interested in messing around with time travel a little bit more. They already have all these assets made. We can go back to these regions with slight different changes. It's a smart, interesting way to bring us more content and kind of fill some of those holes before moving on to the next story. It could perhaps be the real changing of the mantle where Kratos is no longer the god of war as this story seemingly told. It really did seem like his time is done and he's ready for a gesture of peace and the new purveyors of this title could step into that role. You know, what do you think? Am I grasping at straws here? I just, after seeing so much of how the game ends and, and the type of stories that they've told, I am willing to bet a lot of money on the notion that we are not done with the Norse realms and we will find out what happens to characters like Sindri, Thrud, Tyr, and Atreus. All that to say, who do you think blew the horn?